Welcome to Dear Bombshell. Now I'm a little under the weather again tonight, but here's something new. Yep, yeah, this is my one of the three shirts that I was going to wear on Valentine's Day, but I didn't have a special reason to, so I just decided tonight was going to be a special reason, and it's an extra large, uh, still a little bit roomy, if you will, but I like roomy clothes, and it was comfortable, very warm on a cold, cold night. But um, anyway, this morning started off rather strange. Um, I had done everything that I needed to do, informed Grandpa, you know, okay, there's no meals on wheels, I'm your cook today, and, you know, be prepared. So I, I think between the nerves today and everything, I was just uptight, if you will. And I was getting ready to go to work when Grandpa hollered, Donna, come here, look at this. There was a man and a woman out front making a path. So I take two of the little boxes of little Debbie cakes off the table, and I was, I was appreciative. I went outside. I said, I want to thank you for doing this. And they're like, we're not doing this for you. We're doing it for the male girl. I said, I'm sorry. And I felt bad, but yet the guys across the street had made a path, uh, not a very big one, but a small path from the bottom of the steps out to the curb. So honestly, there was a path. I couldn't help that the male person chose to walk through the snow instead of using the little path. You know, so uh, they made me feel bad, and they said that this path is not for you; it's for the male person. So I said, "Oh, I'm sorry," and they refused the little Debbie cakes. And it just—I found it very weird. And so I was like, "Okay, whatever." So I go to work, and I was just festering over this moment. And you know, people not off, not taking what I was offering to give bothered me as well. So I went to work, and my, as I was festering, my stomach was turning sour quickly. And I had to take a moment this morning and use the restroom, which is unusual. But I had to because I had diarrhea. And so um, while I was in the bathroom, you know, I kept thinking in my head, what would make, you know, that's just odd. You know, who, who does that kind of thing? But when the male girl brought the mail, she didn't go through the footpath. She did walk down that new path. And then I felt terrible because Grandpa was a, you know, mail carrier. And I should have known better. Maybe I should have made a path all the way to the railroad track. But yesterday, I dug and dug and dug around my SUV so we would be able to go places. His car is still, you know, dug in there. and Meaning it still has lots of snow around it. And we don't have... It's just me, myself, and I, as a rule, that does the digging around here. So I just don't understand what's up with some of this stuff that's going on. Now, mind you, we did have the plumber out on Thursday. And tonight, when I went to go refresh Peanuts dog food, um, I do that once a week. I found a trail that diverts from the sidewalk to the back of the house and it goes along the windows and I don't like that and I don't know why that that trail was made and it and you could clearly see that somebody took a shovel and shoveled it so I'm still going hmm you know what I'm saying I just don't like that um I my stomach you know was upset had diarrhea but it was a I was able to get it under control um then um I got the mail today, and the O Magazine is no longer anymore. So it says here that for the next three months you'll have unrestricted access to O, but yet, uh, in addition, you'll also receive good housekeeping. So I guess that's my gift from the O Magazine not being in conjunction of working anymore. Whatever. I'm saving the little letter to show it to my mom because she used to work out at Donnelly's. And I thought that that may be something she would like to see since they used to make the O Magazine out there. This is one of my three shirts that I bought for Valentine's Day. It's kind of roomy right here. Look at that. But it's warm. It's flannel. And it's a Sonoma show shirt. I may be saying that wrong. But it's an extra large. And I just felt like wearing it tonight. Uh, I want to thank everyone for the nice, kind comments and thumbs up and hearts and everything on my picture over there on Facebook. I took it on Snapchat, and I was feeling a little bit down. I won't lie, you know, your age gets to you after a while, and you don't see all your hopes and dreams coming true that you wished and prayed for. 
and you feel defeated. So it, it definitely helped. Thank you. I have got some book, I got a book review written for you. Not the entire book because, like I said, I was a little under the weather today. So you're going to get probably like a synopsis of the first 43 pages. Then I'm going to leave you with some burning questions so it makes you pick up the book. Uh, I've started reading One Night Rodeo and it is amazing. Of course, Lorelai uh, James is one of my new favorite authors. This is the, th I want to say the third book I've read from her. And each time it just keeps impressing me with her style of writing. And it seems so realistic and you get drawn into the book. It's just that good. Uh, tonight, uh, I decided I was going to skip the Hallmark movie. And I'm glad that I did. I skipped it last week too, but last week was Yellowstone weekend. This weekend, I had found this movie over at the county market, which I'm going to give my mom. And it's called The Lucky One. We're going to do like a movie review next, so stay there. And I love Andrew Walker. I mean, that man is just amazing. And he's a, one of the Hallmark studs, if you will. And he was in this movie, and i seen it. And my grandpa got me this DVD set for Valentine's Day, Love by Design. And I will review that one with you tonight as well. Uh, so I have two more Valentine's Day movies to watch. Um, one there, which is Valentine Ever After, and Country at Heart that I got this weekend with my paycheck. So um, when I get done watching those, I've seen both of those before too, but it's been a while on both of them, so I will give you a review on those as well. Tonight we're doing this one and uh, the movie review I'm going to probably, I got two magazines in the mail today, First Magazine and Good Housekeeping. So you'll probably get, uh, I don't know if we're going to do all this because I'm, I'm halfway tired if you can't tell. Everybody's been like, we miss your singing, so do I. Um, I hope that, you know, I get to feeling a little bit more like myself here in the days to come, but no promises. Um, anyway. Um... Good gravy. Uh, Grandpa today didn't have Meals on Wheels, so yours truly had to cook his meal, which he had a Jimmy Dean sausage potato, uh, little cheese, and um, egg uh, bowl. I had a turkey sandwich on wheat, which sounded so good, and... I don't know, like I said, I think my stomach was just feeling sour from all the stress and worry that I had upon myself. And and uh, I place a lot of stress upon myself sometimes. It's unnecessary, but I do. And um, just had a lot on my mind lately. But I did want to say this while I'm making this video. Uh, a great moment happened today. Um, my neighbor girl, Hannah, she brought over some books that we're going to donate to the candy kitchen next weekend. And her brothers are going through their stack of books and they'll be bringing over some books that we can donate. Uh, talked with our neighbor today, Elizabeth, and told her about how we had that visitor and how I now have to put a sign at the front door. And she goes, you guys totally need a ring doorbell. And I said, yeah, we do. She, she told me uh, that uh, they, their ring doorbell, now listen to this, they had to a deal with FedEx where they said that the package was delivered and it wasn't and they were able to go back on their ring doorbell and show that that package was never delivered and prove FedEx wrong now that that's major folks that tells you those ring doorbells do good work now I will always wonder who the heck came to the house rang the doorbell twice and you know knocked on the door grandpa was just out of it Peanuts jumping around, barking like a little chihuahua that he is. And he never got the door, you know. So that's still, you know, in the back of my mind, who the heck was that? But uh, we'll ne probably never know. Um, anyway, the, the, there's still the trash issue going on back here. Where A, either they didn't take all the bags with them. Or B, somebody's donating their trash bags to our trash. One of the two is happening. It's very irritating. We went to Dollar General tonight after work, and, um, oh, I tell you, 
usually we have no problem getting to $25. You know, we're usually way over that. Tonight we had a big issue to get to it because he just wanted to cut back here and here and here. And Well, that's stuff we usually use. You can't make cutbacks on stuff you use, you know? So it was very exhausting there as well. I'm excited because we had a discussion tonight and tomorrow we are both ordering fish. Praise the Lord. I can't wait for that. It's a very spiritual moment when we get to order fish in this household. What can I say? Anyway, don't go nowhere. I'm going to do the movie review, both movies, one video, next.